Plan sets provide a convenient, automated method for arranging and organizing one or more drawings or image pages for printing. Begin by right clicking on Plan sets in the navigation window and selecting Add Plan Set. In the menu that opens, change the name of the plan set to Construction Docs. From the Page Size section of the menu, scroll down and select Architectural D. A custom size can also be specified in this section. Next, check the box next to Border, and from the menu that opens, select the 24 by 36 Architectural D side border, and click Open. There is also an option to include a watermark on the document pages. Lastly, check the box next to Create Page and enter Floor Plan in the area underneath. Click OK to generate the Plan Set page. Zooming into the page border shows information that is specified in Project Information. Select Options from the File menu, then select Project Information. Here, pertinent information, such as the name of the project, the name of the designer, address, and phone number, can be added and updated. Also included on the border is the page number and title. This makes it easy to organize and identify all the plan set pages included in a particular project. Use Zoom Extent to see the full page. Click and drag the main floor from the Model section of the navigation window onto the plan set page. The main floor plan is added. Right-click on the drawing. The basic commands Edit, Move, Adjust, and Erase are available to modify the plan set. Select Edit. From this menu, the Scale and Drawing mode of the plan can be changed. Drag the main floor plan from the model section onto the page again and drop next to the first drawing. Right click the second main floor plan and select Edit. Change the drawing mode from Drawing to Electrical. The plan is updated to only reflect electrical details. This provides a side by side view of the main plan with the electrical plan. Align to Edge can be used to align one drawing to the other. Now, add a third main floor plan to the plan set page. This copy is scaled down to fit the page. Zoom in on the newly added drawing. Use the Crop View tool and click on the plan. A box appears around the drawing that can be adjusted to only include a specific section of the plan. Adjust the box to only include the kitchen area and click to set the crop. Right-click on the drawing and select Edit. Change the scale to 3 8 inch equals 1 foot. The scale of the kitchen plan is updated. Use Move to adjust the placement of the kitchen plan on the page. Next, select the Exterior View tab to look at the model in 3D. Select the Go to Room command and select Living Main Floor from the menu. The camera focuses on the kitchen area of the model. From the File menu, select View File and then Save. Under File Name, enter Kitchen Cabinets and then select Save. The Kitchen Cabinets view is generated under the Saved 3D Views section of the navigation window. Return to the Floor Plans page. Drag and drop the Kitchen Cabinets view onto the empty space left on the Plan Set page and use Adjust to resize the image.
Next, right-click on Construction Docs in the navigation window and select Add Page. Name the page Exterior Elevations. Drag and drop all four elevation drawings onto the new page. Use Align to Edge to align the elevation drawings. Multiple pages can be included in a single plan set to make the organization and printing of construction documents a simple process.